two inductions left tonight. Thank you all for uh, hanging in there with us. Appreciate everybody for uh, for for sticking out with us. We're going to move now to the legends category and uh, hear a little bit from one of the best to ever hold a steering wheel, Terry Phillips. And to give his introduction will be uh, Jesse Stovall. I'm not sure why I get to do this because um, of some of the things in the past. I mean, the first time I think I really ever watched Terry was at Monette and man, he's, he's was always a guy that got up on the wheel and I, I kind of wanted to model myself from him and he is, you know, just, he he's something else when, it, when, when everything's right. And you know, the first night I think we really met, I was, we was at Bolivar and after the race, the race, for some reason we both parked at that truck stop and I was going to crawl back in my trailer with my race car and sleep on the bed uh, up, over the, up over the tongue of the trailer there and he come out of there and, and said, uh, what are you doing? I said, I'm going to bed. And he said, in that trailer? And I said, well, yeah. He said, get in here and go to sleep with us. And so anyways, that was in my modified career. And then I got a late model and things kind of changed. And, and uh, our, uh, our friendship kind of went the other way for a little bit. And uh, <laughs> him and me, you know, I think the, one of the nicest standout ways at Monad, I don't know what happened. And, and uh, Lisa was down at my trailer and her and Jamie was, was <laughs> having their words and I was up in the trailer he stopped me and wanted to drag me out of the car but you know all in all that um, you know uh, it's kind of an honor to me to be able to honor somebody like him because I'm telling you the, the stories are endless of things that he's done um, in racing and for racing and you know with his dad up and down the road and, and him and up and down the road and, and I couldn't I mean for a traveling partner you know he, he's he's one of the the greatest that ever came from this area. There's a lot of great people, and and, and uh, you know the stories. There's just so many stories that I can tell. You know, he's he's um, um, you know from from winning the, the topless 100 to winning the Show Me 100. You know, I think that radios in and some of the stories you got to tell talking you know talking back and forth on the radios and it's just uh, the the racing. That he's done is not like the race. You know, the races that he's won in the past. I mean, there was some hard nosed racing that went on, and you know, a lot of times you had to fight your way out of the pits, or let alone fighting on the racetrack to get the win. And he and he just he he's just a legend in his own you know in his own way. Um, you know, I I, uh, I don't I just don't know how to put it in as many words. So um, you know, to introduce you, to introduce. Uh, the son of Larry Phillips, won over 500 features, uh, the topless 100, the showing 100, modified Altel 100, um, you know, countless championships over and over and over. Um, I'll make this short and sweet, Mr. Terry Phillips. I didn't go too bad, I was a little worried about that. Uh, <laughs> I have noticed that uh, a couple guys standing up here came from Central High School. I thought that's cool. Man, old James over there. Uh, Jesse, you know, they talk about my dad, everybody going to, to the Larry Phillips School of Racing, which I damn sure came from. And, and that was great. Jesse's still going to the Terry Phillips School of Racing. <laughs> Anyway, right? it's an honor to be be in this deal. Uh, I'm kind of like James, you know. I, I got put in the Springfield Hall of Fame and then and, and do some um, TV stuff, radio stuff, whatever through the year. This this is tough. It's the people that I've look look up to, you know, for for my whole life. Um, and it's an honor to be to be put in this deal. And I want to thank association here for putting me in and i gotta say one thing skip thompson over here he's a man of a few words i don't know if you notice that <laughs> he's sure he's one of my heroes growing up I, i've been telling that i don't think he believes me but he's one hell of a race car driver i can tell you that and, and uh there's a lot of a lot of good racers here but you know they're before my time heard a lot of stories i know i come from a let's say a good crop. There's a lot of 
old faces here that I mean has done a lot of extraordinary things and and uh, I got told a while ago by a good old racer that I finally got old enough to be worth a shit for anything for something. So, so I guess I'm getting old. But uh, uh, I just think maybe hopefully now I'm old enough to know that I'm not just Larry Phillips son, uh, you know. Uh, uh, I've been introduced as, yeah, this is Larry Boy, Boy he, you know, he races too. It's all the old guys, we, you know, we tell, we tell stories about the younger guys. Hey, I, uh, didn't, you, didn't somebody say that your dad raced? Uh, yeah, you know, he's raced a little bit, but I heard he's pretty, is he pretty good? I said, hey, he wasn't bad, you know. He, I don't know how many races he won. I don't know how many races I've won, but anyway, uh, hopefully, it ain't as many as him. I'm, I'm kind of like him with Dick Trickle. They always said, uh, you think you got more races than Dick Trickle? He goes, no, I'm one less. <laughs> so, I don't know. Uh, times are different back then than they are now, but, uh, you know, it's an honor, like I said, it's, it's an honor to be here uh, amongst my peers. So, I, all I can say is thank I want to thank my family. I've got friends back here. I've got my other mom sitting there looking at me, and that, that shakes me up a little bit. Uh, uh, anyway, I guess that's that's all I got to say, and uh, I got to get back busy being, uh, uh, well, trying to kick Stovall's ass. Anyway. <laughs>